The silent treatment is a manipulative tactic that many narcissistic individuals use when they believe that they're not getting their own way or you dare to question their sense of authority, their sense of superiority. When it comes to the silent treatment, for various reasons, when people have been offended in some way or when we've had some bad news, many people can shut down and fall silent and it's of no fault of the other person. They just need some time and they just need some space and they can often say, I just need some time. And when they've had that time, they can go and communicate with the other person. Therefore, when someone falls silent on us, we kind of look at it coming from a place where we might be coming from to empathise and have the understanding rather than recognising the place that a narcissistic individual is coming from, such as when you dare to question their sense of authority, when you dare to say no to them, they get offended. They don't like being confronted. They don't like being called out. They don't like not getting their sense of entitlement met. So there's lots of different reasons that a narcissist will fall silent. And it's because not because they need time to process something. It's not because you've said something offensive to them other than perhaps, no, sorry, I can't do that today, maybe tomorrow. It's due to who they are as a person. They fall silent on you to punish you. Narcissists use the silent treatment as a weapon, as a way to punish someone for any perceived slights or any perceived disobedience. So if you dare to challenge their authority, if you dare to disagree with the narcissist, they might respond with the silence to make you feel uncomfortable, to make you feel guilty, to condition you to not question their authority in the future. They will do this with their own children, they will do it with their friends, they will do it with their parents, they will do it with their family. To train you not to question their authority in the future. Narcissists use the silent treatment as a form of control. Silence allows the narcissist to maintain control over any given situation and the other person. So by the narcissist not responding, they can keep you second guessing yourself. They can keep you guessing the situation. They can keep you in that state of anxiety. And it gives the narcissist a sense of power and control. They also use the silent treatment for emotional manipulation. It is a form of emotional abuse when it's done by a narcissist in that pervasive pattern of behaviour to make the other person feel ignored or invalidated. Narcissistic people hate being ignored. Most people hate being ignored, which is why genuine people will not ignore people they care about. With a narcissist, the things that they hate, they will do to you to punish and to hurt you. Those prolonged silences can make you feel desperate to regain that communication, regain the approval, and it reinforces your dependence on the narcissist for approval. Many people can fall silent around a narcissist to avoid conflict because you know if you speak it's going to escalate into a situation that can potentially become dangerous. And yes, it is to protect yourself, but through no fault of your own. With a narcissist, they can fall silent to avoid conflict. They use the silent treatment to avoid confrontation or difficult conversations instead of discussing an issue, addressing an issue, instead of resolving something, they just pull away and fall silent to evade the problem, leave you to deal with it. Narcissists use the silent treatment to create that sense of uncertainty within you. And the silent treatment does cause that uncertainty and that anxiety, making us more compliant and eager to please the narcissist in the future to avoid their silence. The unpredictability of the narcissist silent treatment keeps us off balance and more likely to submit to the narcissist demands in the future to avoid it. Self-protection. Narcissists use the silent treatment not to protect themselves from harm from you as such, 
but to protect their fragile ego from any form of criticism, from any form of responsibility, from any form of accountability. Instead of facing their behaviours, instead of facing that criticism or acknowledging their mistakes, they retreat into silence to avoid being vulnerable, to avoid any form of exposure. And they can use the silent treatment to reassert their dominance over other people. It's a way for them to feel like they're the authority in the situation. Whenever they feel their authority has been questioned, they shut down on you to punish you. So if their status of control is threatened, if their authority is questioned, they might simply fall silent to re-establish what they perceive to be their position of power over you. When it comes to narcissists and their silent treatment, it's a manipulative and self-centred behaviour where the narcissist used as their silence to maintain their sense of dominance and control over other people, over any given situations. When it comes to dealing with the silent treatment, you do have to stay safe around those who lack empathy. The best thing you can kind of do is, I respect you don't want to speak to me right now. You know where I am when you do. And then try and focus on you. Again, if you live with them, you need to be careful because if you start focusing on you, they're going to get envious. If you start seeing other people, they're going to get envious and they're going to double down to punish you all the more. If it's your parent that you don't live with, if it's a friend that you don't see very often, you can distance far easier. If it's somebody you live with, then it's about finding a safe way out first. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support of the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries, a narcissist handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you cannot go no contact with them. The new book, which is the hilarious and horrifying narcissistic memes and their meanings. And this one strays away from actually learning about the disorder and is more focused on recovery, which is healing from narcissistic abuse, a guided journal for recovery and empowerment. And these are all available on Amazon if you'd like to go and take a look at those. The links will be in the video description. Thank you very much for watching. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.